Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's talk about the Vivo V21e 5G smartphone. So this is a new launch from the brand Vivo. This is going to be launched in India on coming June 24th. Well, in this video, we'll talk about the Vivo V21e smartphone specs and its price segment. Also, let's compare this Vivo V21e smartphone with the earlier version of the Vivo V21 smartphone. So that is an upgradable smartphone and the upcoming launch Vivo V21 is the lower, uh, lower grade smartphone compared to the vivo v21 so you will see the top five differences between the vivo v21 and then vivo v21 smartphone in this video well first of all let's talk about the vivo v21 smartphone specs and price segment so firstly this vivo v21 smartphone will launch in a two color variants one is a blue and then a sunset color variant actually there is a size and weight differences between these both color variants so the vivo v21 e blue color model has comes with the 7.67 mm of a thickness and 165 grams of overall weight and then the sunset color variance will uh, comes with a 7.79 mm of a thickness and 167 grams of overall weight next uh, moving on to its uh, display so this display has sports with a 6.44 inch full hd plus super amoled display and this display is having a 20 2400 into 1080 pixel resolution and has a 20 is to 9 aspect ratio and this display is based on a U-notch design display and inside the notch 32 megapixel selfie camera is given and moving on to the rear side it has a dual rear camera setup so having a 64 megapixel of a primary camera in addition to that 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens are given so this time in the Vivo V20 new smartphone you will not get any additional 2 megapixel camera sensor like that so it has only dual rear cameras only so it is almost rare to see that a 25k around price segment will having a only dual rear camera setup so that is one of the good thing also so instead of having that uh, never worthy 2 megapixel camera so the dual rear camera is a moreover good thing uh, Next, uh, moving on to the processor. So this Vivo V20 smartphone is powered with uh, MediaTek Diamond City 700G processor. So it is a 5G based processor, and we didn't know whether how many 5G bands uh, Vivo is actually brings in this Vivo V20 5G smartphone. So we'll share about this along with its price when it is launched in India. And in terms of storage variants, it will be launched in 8GB of RAM with 100GB internal storage. Also, it has a support of a additional 3GB of virtual RAM memory. So as usual as like a other Vivo smartphone, you will also get a so, uh, additional 3GB RAM as a virtual, ma uh, virtual memory support. Then finally, this smartphone is powers with a 4000 mAh of battery with a 44 watts of fast charging support. And it has a USB Type-C port connectivity. And in addition, it has a 3.5 audio jack support. And in terms of SIM card storage, so it is comes with a hybrid SIM slot. So, well, overall, these are all the specs and features of the upcoming launch of the Vivo V21e smartphone. Now, moving on to the price segment. So, this Vivo V21e smartphone will actually price for rupees 24,990 for 8GB of RAM with 120GB internal storage. So, compared to the Vivo V21 smartphone, that is actually priced for rupees 30k price segment for 8GB of RAM with 120GB internal storage. Now, moving on to the comparison between the Vivo V21 and the Vivo V21. So there is almost uh, five to six uh, major differences. Well, firstly, let's start with the first difference. So the first difference is its uh, thickness. So the Vivo V21 smartphone actually comes with a 7.29 mm of overall thickness and 176 grams of overall weight but the upcoming vivo v21 smartphone comes with a 7.67 mm of a thickness and 165 grams of overall weight the second major difference is its display the both the displays having a 6.44 inches size of display but in the vivo v21 smartphone you will get a 90 hertz of screen refresh rate also hdr 10 plus support but in the upcoming launch of the vivo v21 e you didn't get that then the third comparison is its a selfie camera. The Vivo V21 smartphone is comes with a 44 megapixel of a selfie camera with the OIS support. But the upcoming launch of the Vivo V21 smartphone is comes with only 32 megapixel of selfie camera without OIS. Now the next fourth major difference is on the rear side camera. The Vivo V21 has comes with a triple camera setup, 64 megapixel plus 8 megapixel plus 2 megapixel camera setup. But in the Vivo V21 smartphone, you will get only dual rear camera setup, 64 megapixel plus 8 megapixel only. And the fifth major difference is its browser. The Vivo V21 is powered with a MediaTek Diamond City 800U 5G based browser, but the Vivo V21 is powered with a MediaTek Diamond City 700G 
processor and the final major difference is the vivo v21 smartphone is comes with the 4005 4000 mh of battery with 33 watts of fast charging support but the upcoming launch of the vivo v21 is comes with the same 4000 mh of battery but having a 44 watts of fast charging support now these are all the major differences between the vivo v21 and then vivo v21 e smartphone now what are your guys thoughts on these uh, differences and uh, actually in terms of price also there is only uh, around the rupees 5000 price difference the vivo v21 is actually priced for rupees 30k but and the vivo v21 will be, will be priced for uh, around the rupees 25k price segment uh, well overall that's all about this video guys now what are your guys thoughts on this vivo v21 e smartphone let me know in the comment section below and in my point of of you this vivo v21 it's almost good in this price segment but compared with the other smartphones in this price segment so there is a redmi note 10 pro max smartphone that is having a uh, super amoled display with the 120 refresh rate and is having a 108 megapixel of samsung gw2 camera sensor and like that the more highest standard specs are available and that is too priced for for only rupees 20,000 around price segment only and then the recent launch of the oneplus uh, smartphone so the oneplus not ce 5g smartphone so this is also one of the best smartphone it is also comes with a super amoled display with a 90 hertz screen refresh rate and it is also supported with the 64 megapixel of your triple camera setup but the one thing is that in the oneplus Nord ce 5g smartphone you'll get only 30 watts of fast charging support but in the vivo v21e you'll get a 44 megapixel of fast charging support so there is always a one of the so there is always a smartphone is having one of the pros and cons so that is a common thing only but in this price segment this smartphone is also one of the best only but you can also consider other smartphones as i told here but now what are your thoughts on this smartphone let me know in the comment section below and in case if you are having any other smartphone suggestion compared to this smartphone let me know that also in the comment section below and that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys